This video introduces you to how to format SAS output. It's important to annotate SAS output, both for yourself and for someone else who is looking at the output. It makes it easier to understand and more readable. To format SAS output, you can use three different kinds of statements. Title statements label the procedure output. So if you did a procedure of PROC means or PROC freak, you can use title statements to label those procedures. Label statements are used to label the names of variables. And format statements are used to label the values of variables. Title statements can go anywhere in the program. It's good practice to put the title statements underneath the PROC. You can change the titles at any time, and you can have more than one title statement in a row. So this title parentheses N followed by the text, which is in quotes, the N signifies that you could have a title 1 and then quote with some text in it, title 2 and then some text within quotes, and then the two titles would appear one following the other. For the quotes, you can use single or double quotes to put your title, but you can't mix the quotes. You have to either use both single quotes or double quotes for your title statements. And if you want to clear out the previous title, you can just write title semicolon, and that will clear out any titles that were used previously. Otherwise, the last title statement that you wrote will be the title statement that will continue to be printed out in your output, even if that was not the title statement that you wanted printed out in your output. Label statements can go anywhere in the data step or under a procedure, but not in between. So here are some examples. First, we have a label clinic equals clinical center. So anytime that you use the variable clinic in a procedure, the label clinical center will appear to represent that variable. The second example, we have label group equals drug treatment group. So again, these labels explain the variable in more detail. Then we have label educ equals highest education attained. Again, it makes it more readable for someone else looking at your output. And finally, notice in the last example that you can have several labels attached in one statement. So here we're attaching the label clinical center to clinic and drug treatment group to group all in a single statement. So you can have more than one variable listed in a single label statement. We have seen format statements before when we use the formats with dates. And that's an example of a system-defined format. So this first format, format birth date MMDDYY10 dot, is a system-defined format. There are also user-defined formats. So with format statements, we want to tell SAS to display the values of the variable according to the format. Format statements can go anywhere in the data step or in a procedure. There are built-in formats, like dates, and then there are the user-defined formats we are going to talk about here. Also, a format can apply to more than one variable. So in this example where we have format fever, headache, and then SE dot, SE is a format that we created and we want it attached to the, both the variables fever and headache. And SE is a severity of a health condition. And so we actually have codes for the severity of a health condition. And since both fever and headache are health conditions, we want to attach that particular format to those health conditions of having a fever or a headache. Notice that formats end with a period. And I had mentioned that earlier when we were talking about informats and formats with reading and data. Also, if we are creating a format for a variable that's a character variable, then the format itself has to have a dollar sign beginning it. And so in the example format clinic, you see that we're attaching a clinic format that has a dollar sign in front of it. 
So here is how we actually define the formats. So I'm creating here three different formats and I do this with a proc format and then value and I give the format a name. The format name does not have to be the name of a variable on the data set. It can be a different name that you can then attach to that variable. Also notice, and it's very important, a format name cannot end in a number. So here we are creating a format for treatment group where 1 equals beta blocker all the way down to 6 equals placebo. And then we've created a format called gender where 1 equals men and 2 equals women. And finally we're creating a format SE for severity of a health condition where 1 equals none, 2 equals mild, 3 equals moderate, and 4 equals severe. So we create our formats in the PROC format procedure. You can also format a character variable. So here we have PROC format value dollar sign clinic where A equals Birmingham. So if you were a subject from clinic A, that would mean you were a subject from Birmingham. B equals Chicago, C equals Minneapolis, and D equals Pittsburgh. So this is a format that's going to be attached to a variable that's a character variable and it has the responses A, B, C, or D. From PROC format, SAS does not know which variables you plan to format with the given format. You need to apply a format to a variable using a format statement. So you've created your formats in the procedure PROC format and then to apply the format to the variable you use the format statement and the format statement can either be placed in your data step or in a procedure. So here we are attaching the format clinic to the variable clinic. You can also use a format to recode a variable. So in this example we actually have a continuous variable age and we've created a format called A group. And so we're saying here that low to 19 is less than 20, 20 to 24 is equal to 20 to 24. And so we're setting these age groups. And then we can associate this format with age, a continuous variable, and SAS assigns age categories in the output. So it's not actually changing or regrouping age as an actual variable but in the output it is assigning age categories to it. And you'll see an example of this in the SAS demonstration video that will make this clearer. So it's a couple of things to remember about format statements. First of all, formats need to be defined before you use them and they're defined with PROC format. Secondly, formats are applied by using the format statement. Thirdly, label and format statements in the data step apply to all subsequent procs. So if you have a label statement that's in your data step or a format statement, then any procedure that follows will incorporate those labels and formats for the given variables. And finally, label and format statements that are placed underneath a proc apply only to that proc. The SAS demonstration video, Formats and Labels, introduces you to how to create and use formats and labels so that output is easier to read.